Hey, I'm James with TVS Pro, and it is Tello Day. Tello. You can't get this just yet. It isn't available. You will be uh, at the beginning of March or possibly mid-March. But DJI sent this to us, thank you Brian at DJI, because they wanted us to check it out and play with it. Um, it is 13 minutes flight time and it has a bunch of intelligent flight modes and it is powered by DJI. That's why they sent it to us. They don't manufacture it, but we have confirmed that the flight controller in this is DJI's and it is also got a computer chip in there uh, from Intel. And if you don't think that that's cool, then you obviously didn't see the Winter Olympics. <laughs> This thing is tiny. Uh, how tiny is it? There's a Duracell battery. It's like as thick, slightly, slightly shorter than that. Smaller than an Epson projector remote. Look at that. It is much smaller than a mouse. S by S card. There you go. That's about right. Uh, double saltine. That's how small it is. And then they do give you prop cards, so we can add those on there. I would probably recommend flying the Tello with the prop cards, only because it kind of makes it indestructible a little bit. And that's it. There's no cable, there's no charger. That's it. So just use a micro USB charger. You probably have seven of those lying around. It takes about an hour to charge and you'll be able to fly it for 13 minutes. The battery is teeny. It's like a cell phone battery. Here's a cell phone. Look, 5S, I think it's 5S or SE, either or, same body. Look at that. It's about as thick as a SE. That's, that's the battery. And all it does is no, no buttons, there's no power button or anything on it. The power button is on the side, so once we get this guy in, ding, somebody's calling you. Oops. An 866 number, can I answer it? <laughs> Don't answer it, bill collector. 720p camera on the front and there is an LED there on the front to tell you if it's charging full or if there's an error. Just like the Phantom 1 and Phantom 2 series, if you remember the blinks that you'd get, like yellows and reds and greens, and they've kind of added that in the modern DJI systems. Same thing, that LED up on front and there are two IR sensors and an optical sensor on the bottom. So this thing is crazy stable indoors because of those sensors. Um, and then the, obviously the heat sink on the bottom and that's it, the power button on the side, all you do, it's not a press and press and hold, you just push it. That's it, and there it starts going through the calibration. Find the Wi-Fi signal from this and start flying it with your phone. Enough talking, let's go play. The Tello is so easy a child can use it. Wait. 14. All you got to do is power it on, turn on the app, and they actually say that you can throw this and get it going. So to power it on, it's just the button on the side. Once it's on, go to Wi-Fi settings. It'll say Tello. Previously have the Tello app already downloaded. There it is. Hey, here's Jake the camera guy. There we are. And that's it. So here we go. Throw and go. Oh, I did something wrong. Okay, that's not the way we were supposed to do it. Uh, up at the top left-hand side, there is a copter symbol. Touch that, and there is the throw and go option. So now, five, four, I throw it, I throw it. Hey, hey, look at that. It did as advertised. Okay, first thing you'll notice is that it's got the two joystick digitally overlaid over the top of the camera. Those are your sticks, just like normal. Left is yaw and throttle, right is pitch and roll. So if we were to put our thumbs on there, we can start flying it. Unlike DJI systems where you can go down and inward, that doesn't work. You have to use the auto takeoff. So we use the arrow pointing up on the top left and we say take off. It sounds like a mosquito on steroids. But look how stable that is. 
We have no GPS in this place, but that is stable. It's really not moving anywhere. A quick tip for you, before you hit record or shoot any photos, hit the settings tool and go over to more. Scroll all the way down and you're gonna see bitrate. It defaults to auto. Slide that all the way over to maximize four megabits per second. That's all it's capable of, four megabits per second. But did I mention it's only a hundred dollars? Since I'm in the settings right now, I might as well just tell you, you've got flight speed, slow and fast. Fast is like sport mode. VR, if I touch that, it actually will split screen so I could take my phone and put it on like a VR headset and see it in like 360 VR. There are some joystick settings in there that you can play with and Wi-Fi, but if I go to more, I can also adjust my photo quality, also change that to high, and I've got my low battery warning and of course my joystick mode one, mode two, leave it in mode two, and my EV or my exposure value, that's all you've got for control. Leave it at zero and hope for the best. When I'm in the more setting, on the left hand side, I've got three dots. Touch the dots and I can do calibrations on the IMU and the compass and whatever else. Just like DJI Systems, up on the top right, I've got a still mode or a video mode. Yes, it crops on that sensor to do video. So I can hit record and it starts recording. But more importantly than anything else is the flight mode. Let's play with the flight modes. Let's start with the most fun, flips. Simply touch flips, start, and it puts a box on the screen. You can swipe in eight directions, up, down, left, right, and diagonally, and it'll flip in that direction. Check this out. What's up? kind of fun. It's particularly useful when people are attacking your drone. <laughs> Next up is 360 mode. This usually works better if you have a lot more friends than I do. Bounce mode. This is particularly useful if you're jumping on a trampoline. I don't know yet what to do with this. It just goes up and down. Up and out and circle, we're gonna go outside. Okay, up and out. Start. There it goes. I wonder how far it's gonna go. And that's it. It was a short distance, just as advertised. Circle mode. Maybe it's gonna hit Jake the camera guy. Nope, it won't. This is also much better when you have lots of friends. Hey, did I mention it's $100? Because this is extremely stable. And it's actually staying right on me. And it hits record automatically in any of these modes too. It's recording on its own. And bam, that's pretty close to where it started. So hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Tello drone video. Uh, should be out early March, mid-March. You can start your pre-orders now. Uh, I'm gonna remind you, it's $100. And if you wanna learn about any other of the DJI systems, intelligent flight modes with the Spark, the Mavic, the Phantom, the Mavic Air, uh, Inspire 2, X7 camera, all that stuff. There's some links to some videos over here. Maybe they're over here. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, as always, I'm James of TVS Pro. Good luck and happy flying.